Hey guys, so today I am going to film a really fast wedding update. It's been a while since I did a wedding Wednesday update. Um, this probably won't go up on a Wednesday, but it's still a wedding update and it's everything that's happened basically since my last wedding Wednesday video. I know I've updated a little bit in the vlogs, um, but in this video I'll go a little bit more in depth to kind of tell you guys like exactly what's been going on. So let's get started. A few weeks ago, we actually picked up our guest book. I was so excited because when we got our proof of it, like they sent an email um, with a online version of our book. Loved it. Like it looked so good. Switched everything over to color only because I don't really like the whole black and white and color mixed together. I don't know why, but I really liked it all in color. So I decided, hey, I'm just going to change it. When we got the book, I was so excited. I loved it. And then I found out that Luis like kind of didn't like it. Like he, the cover of it is green and he kind of felt like there was too much green. So I was like, what do you mean there's too much green? And he just like didn't really like it. Not that he didn't like it, but I think he thought it was gonna look a little different. So I don't know. But also on the cover, we've got both of our names on there and Luisa's last name has a little tilde thing, you know, a little squiggly line on the end. Um, and it didn't have it on the guest book. So we actually emailed the photographer and we were like, hey, is there any way that you can fix it? He said yes, but we decided to just keep it. And ultimately it was Luisa's decision because I didn't even notice it wasn't there. Honestly, I didn't until he pointed it out. Um, and he was just, he was upset about it, but I told him, I was like, if you want to change it, like, why don't you ask him if you could change it, whatever. Um, and so he decided that he just wanted to keep it, and I was like, okay, cool. So, um, both of our parents have already seen it. It is actually sitting right back there on that table, and yeah, basically, it's just going to sit there for another 10 months until the wedding. So, I'm really glad we got it. It looks really good, and I'm not gonna show you guys because I wanted to be surprised, but I might show you guys when the wedding actually happens in a few months. Another thing is we actually ordered our Save the Dates and already received them. I ordered two samples a while ago, and I decided that I wanted to kind of change one of those samples um, to make it even better. So basically, we were deciding between two save the dates. One of them, Luis and I really, really liked. It was like our favorite save the date. And then we decided to go with the other one because we kind of switched it up, made some writing bigger, made some other stuff smaller, um, changed some writing, and now we're really happy with them. And I ordered them. So I ordered them, and in about a week, they got here in like this really heavy, fancy box. It looks so nice. We have our Save the Dates, and I'm really excited. I have all the little envelopes and all the magnets. And as of right now, all I've got is Luis's mom's side of the family's addresses. My parents are still working on my family's list. Um, and then I think Luis has to find his dad's family's list. So we still have to get addresses together, but I'm excited you guys. I'm seriously, like once the Save the Dates go out, I think that it's all going to be like super real and super exciting. So I'm excited to actually sit there, put stamps in the envelopes, write out addresses and mail them out. So that's going to be really fun. We should be sending them out probably in about a week or two. Um, it is kind of early, but since we're getting married on a holiday weekend, um, I think that it's important that we send them out early. On top of it being on a holiday weekend, all of our families are coming from out of town, so um, it's important that they know that they need to book their flights early and all that stuff. So that's why we're going to send them out really early. So in the very beginning of my wedding planning process, um, I have a wedding binder and it's a hot mess now. At first I had everything organized, it was all put together, I've got dividers in there. I would show you, but I want to get up and get it. Um, but everything's a mess now, it's just thrown in there and unorganized. So I keep like all the receipts and stuff in there and I think it's gonna be a task to have to go through that whole binder, organize it, put everything in order, um, and I actually have to go grab a receipt out of there to bring with us tomorrow to order the cake if we go. Um, but it's a mess, you guys. I need to start organizing that and keeping it organized because 
I have read that a wedding binder is a lifesaver if it's organized. So that's my next task, organize my wedding binder. Another thing that we have to do is kind of go through all of our vendors and see how much more we owe. That's one of the things that's like not super fun about wedding planning is the money part of it. So we put down deposits to reserve our date for pretty much all of our vendors. And now we have to go back and go through to see how much more we need to pay to be paid off. And um, that is what we're going to be doing soon. So that's basically it. We are way ahead of the game. We are getting married May of next year. And so we've got about 10 months till the wedding, which it's hard to believe that Luis and I have been engaged already for seven months. We got engaged in January. And so... Um, it's actually almost been eight months and I feel like we just got engaged so it's just really weird like I don't know it's kind of like we are getting married next May ever since the beginning we've been ahead of the game we've got we within the first like few months of being engaged knowing that we had a long engagement I already got my wedding dress booked photography videography a venue um, our minister, like all the big major stuff is already booked and it's amazing that I got that all done but now it's kind of like a slow time where we don't really have anything else to plan until that very end like flowers, bridesmaids, dresses, that kind of stuff doesn't come till the end so I'm excited for it to get to that time where I get to start planning again. Then before we know it, it'll be wedding day and I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.